also and we'll go to Katia and this is what the interface when you open the Katia we'll go to start mechanical design and part design we're going to enter into the part mode and then from there we're going to choose any of the planes and then we're going to sketch on any of the planes since we are going to just create and it asks for the part name and you can just leave it as it is or if you are going to create a part, you can give the part name. The same part name will be appearing in the assembly, which you are going to see in the later videos. And here there are three different planes: X, Y, Y, Z, and Z axis. We are making the sketches. You can choose any of the plane, and I'm going to choose Y, Z. I can just choose. Since you are going to make in any. Since you are going to make only the sketches and not the parts, you can choose any of the plane. You can choose, you can choose X, Y or Y, Z either by selecting the planes from this interface or from the specification tree also. It, when you select the plane, it gets highlighted over here. You can just have a look. And I'm going to select this and here you have the option called sketch. If you don't see the sketching option, uh, this icon over here. And here there are two different options position sketch where you can just change the orientation of the plane that we're not going to be using or just the sketch or uh, if you are not going to see that just go to tools uh, sorry the insert and the sketcher and here also see sketch and position sketch we just see the sketch option so we'll just go to sketch and now here there are different tools and just expand it one by one I'm just going to remove this and place it over here and I'm going to expand I'm not going to use the rectangular tools right now so I'm going to use the line there are different types of lines over here I'm going to keep here and if it's not there also you can just go to insert and here there in the profile there are many things or you can go to the profile and the predefined you can just have all this and this access line they are different types and circle also they are different types whichever one you can choose either from insert or from this also if you are not finding it from here it will be in the insert and if you do not find this option over here just right click over here and just enable the profile and the sketching tools okay and now and now we are done with expanding all the things and now we'll just start it so we'll go to the circle first i'm going to create a circle if you double click you can just reuse the circle once again see i, I can draw that circle ties if you and then if you want to exit from the circle mode you can just click on escape and suppose if you have selected click only once you and you cannot able to draw it once again so if you are doing it many times just and make sure that if you are so if you are doing it many times the same profile or the same sketching tools make sure that you use the double click it saves a lot of time and randomly i'm going to draw the dimensions first randomly i'm going to draw the sketching first and now I'll add the constraints. So to add the constraint, this is a symbol, and we'll go and add this constraint. We are going to add multiple times, so just click it double times. And I'm going to select this, and this one is the diameter. So I'm going to choose this one as a PCD. That is. Uh, actually there is not a PCD but it is a PCD for this small circle which is of diameter 40 so it is a dotted line so make to make that one has a dotted line just select that and enable this one suppose if you are having 
and so and and it disable the snap to point otherwise it will cause some snapping issues make sure it is disabled and if you want the grid you can just enable it or disable it that is not going to make any effect or changes to the sketches on the part which if you do and now i am going to use a double click now and this one diameter is of 85 you can add the radius also by changing it to a radius over here but uh, it's 85 and from this to this the food distance from this center to this center is 94 we are making the only arc and later we will use the mirror option so it will be 94 by 2 here also in like in other design softwares you can add the mathematical expressions for the values and this one also they have specified this as 104 from this center to this center and we are making only the half so it will be 104 by 2 yeah. and now this diameter I am going to specify it the diameter is of 14 the outer circle is of 14 and the inner is of the holes which uh, inner circle is of 12 so outside is 14 inside is 12 outside is of diam radius is 14 inside circle is diameter itself is 12 so since this is the outside so it will be 28 and this is the diameter act so it will be 28 since they specified the 14 R, that is it is the radius. Now I'll make the inner circle and it shows its dotted line because you are not disabled it. So just select it and disable this option. And now I'll use the dimensions constraint. And this one this diameter itself is 12. And now it shows everything is constrained till now what are your sketch. And to check the sketching status, you can just see the icon over here and just see the sketch. Sorry, say till now what I have done, it is ISO constraint. That is, it is constrained properly and it does not move. See, if, if you try to move any of the sketches, it does not move, it is fully constrained. And here in CAT yeah, it shows green color if it is fully constrained, but still, sometimes some points are you will be missing. So, if you make sure that check the sketching status over here also if it is fully constrained it will show in green color if it is full constrained it will show in purple color also and if it is not constrained it will show in just a white color symbol see if i try to add any constraints see uh, now now it shows purple it is over constrained and here also it shows it is over constrained see and so just delete this and now i am going to use the option for mirror and by default this x axis and the vertical that is here there is a horizontal and this vertical uh, axis are there you can just click on that you don't need to make any uh, preference or the mirror axis for this one so you can just click on that one so here if you expand if you exp and here if you expand here you will see the option called mirror and just double click on that one since we are going to use it multiple times or you can just go to insert operation and transformation here you will see the option called mirror you can go and find it in the insert also or here also you can just find it ok now I am going to mirror it about this one so just done and now I am going to select this one I am going to select these two and now I am going to mirror it again and about this axis now and now we are done and now here also we are going to draw a 3 point arc since we don't know the center that is this arc we are going to draw and then we can use the mirror again so I'm going to just zoom it. You can just zoom it by using the control on the keyboard as as well as the mouse scrolling wheel or both you need to use. 
is 3.r and you, do, you cannot see a tangent constraint so I'm going to apply tangent constraint to this to apply the constraint just select and here you will see the constraint defined in the dialog box just click it and I'm going to choose the tangency option and I will specify the radius here the radius is given as 12 radius yeah, and this is fully constrained and now you are going to choose the line tool you can just draw a normal line also but for that one you need to since it will be a tangent line over here you just need to snap it properly to this and you can just add, otherwise it was not snapped properly now again you need to add the tangency constraint so it will be a lengthy process so here there is an option called by tangent line so i'm going to choose this side and this side see by default the tangent line is made see if you click it over here and here if you click the on this and this the opposite way the lines will be drawn make sure you select the proper side of the circle so that the tangent line is drawn properly and now again i am going to use the mirror option and first of all this axis and you don't need to create the constraints or add the dimensions again to the mirror part mirror the sketches it will automatically be taken so again mirror and about this and now I am going to trim this excess part here we are going to just use this and here we are going to use the option trim or you can just use any of the trim or you can just use the break option and then delete that excess part or you can just use a trim it is easy to use the option quick trim so I am going to use it I am going to use multiple times so double click on it outer part is done and we are going to make this inner part this part so we have drawn a PCD right now and this inner circle will be drawn later so the circle we will draw first circle is of diameter 14 and this thickness is of 8 mm so first we are going to create anything and then we will just create a pattern of this one and remember in CAD DR if you create a pattern it will not be constrained you need to apply the constraints manually again afterward so I am going to tell you how to use the constraint without using the pattern option here we will use the mirror option and we will look into that first we will create a circle now I am going to create it over here and now I will add the dimensions now itself and that is given as 14 mm 14 mm and this thickness is 8 mm 14 mm in diameter and I am going to draw a line using the line option and remember the line is not from this point as C it is not from this point anywhere from here so first we will draw it randomly And if it is not a vertical line it should it will not show vertical so remember to add the constraint now it is vertical it vertical is enabled okay now I'll add the dimension again from this to this it is 4 since the total is 8 we are going to make only the half so it will be half of it so I'm going to use the mirror option now again and just mirror it and I'll just trim off the excess part this is trim now and now we'll see how to use a how and now we'll see how to use this circular pattern we are not going to use the, exactly the circular pattern how to make this pattern without using the circular pattern in CATIA because it will not be fully defined sketch in CATIA if you use the circular pattern if you want you can just try that out and here you can see this pattern it is made of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so circular pattern it is made so total of six are there 
so it is on a circle like that so it will be 360 divided by 6 so I am going to create a simple construction line I am going to make it a started line because it is a construction line and make sure it should be snapped at any point otherwise again it will show it is unconstrained so I am going to create over here and now I will add the dimension sorry now I will add the angle to it So it will be 360 divided by 6 that is 60 and now we we'll use this axis as the mirroring axis and then we will use the mirror and now I will select this and now I am going to use the mirror I will select this axis see it is done and now I will select this all and I will choose the mirror again and I will choose this axis and now, just, and now we will select only this part and now we will use the mirror and select this now you can see everything is made total of 6 are made you can see now everything is fully defined and uh, what we have made is fully defined and we need to make this inner circle and remove this excess lines so I am going to use the circle option and it is not the dotted line and I will go into add the dimensions to it and the inner circle of the small circle is of diameter 32 mm so I am going to trim this excess line now using the quick trim option is very easy so we will use the quick trim option since we are going to use it again and again we will double click it And remember to remove this excess line since we have drawn it a little bit extra both are intersecting so we will just remove those by deleting it by selecting it manually And now you can see it is fully defined and we go to sketching status over here and here it shows it is unconstrained because these points are little bit unconstrained so we just add the tangency option okay for these two we will add the tangency because we didn't add the tangency before using the mirror sorry before using the mirror option we just add the tangency manually and now you can see the sketch solving status you can see everything is complete from the diagram and we see the sketch solving status and now also it shows it is unconstrained and that is because we have seen we see this point is not coinciding with this okay now we'll just see and this point is also not coinciding we can just have it See, you can just see otherwise the profile will not be a closed profile so we just need to see whether it is fully constrained so we just make sure that these two are coincident so okay and now it is done let us see for this one also it is, yeah for everything it is done now let us see the sketch solving stages now also it shows it's unconstrained uh, that is because here there are some few points so, so we need to clear that up so you can see there these are the small dots this extra trimmed lines uh, that dot has been left that's the point okay now we make sure that everything is clean and remove the unnecessary sketches like the points 
and make sure it is close profile that is the use of seeing the sketching status otherwise we will not come to know otherwise the profile will be not be a close profile and it cannot be used so we have to make sure that it is constrained properly and the profile will keep moving if, uh, if it is not pro properly constrained and thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and comment below for any suggestions